Hello everyone. Welcome to Physics and Me. So today we are going to discuss a very interesting and very important topic of quantum mechanics. That is Schrodinger equation. Well, so what is Schrodinger equation? Schrodinger equation is a linear partial differential equation that describes the motion or the dynamics of a quantum system. Well, or in other words, we can say that Schrodinger equation also describes the conservation of energy. In Schrodinger equation, there are two types. One is time dependent Schrodinger equation and the one is time independent Schrodinger wave equation. Well, so before going to Schrodinger equations uh, types, so let's know some of the points about Schrodinger equations. Okay, so this Schrodinger equation is defined for non relativistic particle. Well, so non relativistic is nothing but whose rest mass energy is greater than that of the kinetic energy. Okay, so the particles which are moving less than that of the speed of the light. So suppose you consider a particle of mass m0 so it's moving with the velocity v which is always less than c so which is the condition for non relativistic and Schrodinger equation is applicable for spinless particles non relativistic as well as spinless particles well so first let's derive time dependent Schrodinger equation First, let's read time dependent Schrodinger equation. As you know that uh, energy of a non relativistic particle is given by P is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. So, kinetic energy can be written as P squared by 2m plus potential energy as V of R and P as it is. Okay. So, in quantum mechanics, uh, it becomes necessary that you have to express the physical quantities in terms of the operators. So that's why in terms of operators it's represented as E cap. E cap represents energy operator which is given by I h cross dou by dou t and momentum operator P cap which is given by minus I h cross del. So it is in a three dimension that is I cap dou by dou x, y cap dou by dou y, z cap dou by dou z. Then next. Uh, and uh, position operator, which is R. So just substitute all these operators in this one. So consider these are the operators, well, and substitute them. That is, IH cross dou by dou t, which equals to momentum operator, minus IH cross then by 2m it's a square so just square it plus b of r it remains as it is then next it becomes minus h cross square del square by 2m this is as it is then next plus b of r so whenever you will be expressing uh, the operators so you have to introduce sign So just take it common here. Okay, finally get this equation. So next we can write this equation as which is equals to so this term can be termed as Hamiltonian, that is H cap. Sign. Okay, so now let's derive time independent Schrodinger wave equation. So first for that consider wave equation. Okay, psi is equals to a into some amplitude e raised to i kx minus it represents the space region and this represents the time region. Well, so just differentiate. As we know that this is time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. I h cross dou psi by dot is equal to minus h cross square del square by 2m plus p of psi. Where this represents Hamilton operator h cap. Well, so just differentiate this one with respect to time and substitute that equation in the time dependent equation. So that will get time independent Schrodinger wave equation. So dou psi by dot t. Differentiate this wave equation with respect to time. So we will get a as it is it's a constant. So e raised to i k 
Tx minus omega t into minus i omega. Right. So this can be written as psi. So which is equal to psi minus i omega. Okay. So finally, we get after differentiating, we we'll get this equation. So substitute this equation in this one. So we get i h cross dou psi by dou t just substitute in this place so you get minus i omega psi of minus i omega psi is equal to so i can write directly this one as h cap h cap of psi okay so further i can tell here so i into i i square i square value is minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 will become plus so we will remain with h cross omega psi is equal to h psi so as we know that t is equal to h cross omega and p is equal to h cross k so substitute this one h cross omega is nothing but e so finally we can write e psi is equal to h cap psi so which is a time independent squared in the wave equations Therefore, finally we can conclude that the time dependent Schrodinger of equation is given by i h cross dou psi by dou t is equal to minus h cross square del square by 2m plus p of psi and time independent h psi is equal to e psi. So finally we can write that i h cross dou psi by dou t is equal to h psi. So this is nothing but h psi. Okay. So if this is equal to this and we know that time independent is equal to this one. So finally we can conclude that this 3 can be uh, equated that is h cross dou psi by dou t is equals to h cross psi which is equals to e psi.